morning story today, In the though. meantime, Martha, it is the pat-down that stirred a nationwide debate. Did you watch this? So uh, we're going to be doing a groin shake. That means I'm going to place my hand on your hip, the other hand on your inner thigh, slowly go up and slide down. Okay. You can do that two times in the front and two times in the back. You can do that out here, but if you touch my junk, I'm going to have you arrested. Everyone we're going to have a supervisor here because of your statement. Now, a lot of questions about touching your stuff along with body scanners and whether or not they work, whether or not they're dangerous as all the biggest travel week of the year gets ready to kick off. Now the head of the TSA ready to answer those questions on the Hill and Molly, uh, Molly Henneberg. Sorry, watches that in D.C. What do we expect his answers to be? Molly, good morning. Good morning, Bill. John Pistol, he'll be addressing the Senate Commerce, Science, and Transportation Committee this morning, and likely he'll have a similar message to what he told the Senate Homeland Security Committee yesterday, that airport security has to evolve and change and improve technology in order to keep up with the ever-changing threat. Here's more from what Pistol told senators yesterday. We want to be sensitive to people's concerns about privacy, about their, their personal being and things, while ensuring that everybody on every flight has been properly screened. Officials say they're trying to keep explosive liquids, gels, and powders that terrorists could hide, for example, in their underwear. We know about the underwear bomber trying to keep all that stuff off, off of planes. Uh, one Bill? Republican lawmaker saying it's time to reexamine, actually, the TSA. Yes, Republican Congressman John Micah says the TSA has, quote, ballooned into a huge bureaucracy of 67,000 employees. Here's more from him. We need uh, to look at, at this whole process. It's very expensive, and I don't think it's that efficient or effective. Micah says this should be a top priority of the new Congress. Bill? Molly, thank you for that. It is a big story and will continue to get bigger by the day as we come up on that Thanksgiving break. Molly Henneberg, live in D.C.